Welcome to DK Live at Radio Row at Mall of America. I'm Katie Emmer. Joined alongside the one and only Lorenzo Alexander. Thanks for joining us, Lorenzo. Oh, yeah, yeah. My pleasure. Thank you for having me on. And what brings you out to Super Bowl 52 here in Minneapolis? Well, a couple of things. Uh, number one, I'm out here with the NFL player engagement, um, broadcasting boot camp. I've participated in the past, so I'm out here with a group of guys uh, just getting some reps, uh, you know, obviously being a guest, being a host, doing some analyst work. And then also I'm an executive member of the NFLPA. Um, so we have um, some conferences and some parties and some other things that's going on this week as well. We just talked about this before. You're a busy guy. It's back to back to back. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty structured. Uh, they've done a great <laughs> job of filling up my day. And, um, you know, I'm glad to do it. Uh, it's just fun to get out here, meet people, talk to people, yeah. and have a good time. It's going to be busy. And I want to talk a little bit more about this NFL Network Boot Camp. Right. We just had Ryan Harris on here. He told us a little bit about how they get you to tell stories. They kind of train you to read. What right. was it that, that, you, uh, that it helped you with, the boot camp? Um, a lot of things. I think the biggest thing that I have an issue with, you know, just getting feedback. I mean, you do a lot of interviews, talk to people as an athlete and a player, but they never really give you any feedback. Okay, how can you have done it a little bit better? So having yeah. people like Jerry Mellon along with us, Dick McElwell, just to kind of help us listen to what we've said and just give some good feedback. And then from an analyst or a host standpoint, you know, just interviewing people, listening to them, and then be able to ask follow-up questions. Because sometimes you have your four or five questions yeah. you want to ask, and then they go way off to the left, <laughs> and, and you now you've got to go. be ready to go. Yeah. So. And that takes practice. You know, people yeah. I think oftentimes think what your job is is easy, and it's yeah. not. It's just like my profession. You have to practice and continue to do it over and over again before you can perfect your uh, your craft. Yeah, and you're a hard worker. Even in the NFL, yeah. you're, you're every position. Yeah. What, what do they call you, the utility player, or yeah, what is it? Uh, well, uh, my nickname is One Man Gang. <laughs> One uh, Man Gang. Right, back in uh, when I was in my Washington days, uh, Fred Smoot um, gave me that nickname. Yeah. Uh, just because I, I played everything from guard to tackle to outside, inside linebacker, special teams. So I do a lot of different things. So on our media guide, I try to get our guys to do this every year, but I don't think the NFL will let them do it. I just want them to put athlete. You yeah, know, just I don't, athlete. I'm just an athlete. Yeah. You know, I don't have to define me. I yeah. just go out there and play football. Good for you. And next question, do you play fantasy sports? Did you in the league or do you I, now? No, I haven't. I mean, I'm competitive, and I just don't have okay. the time to keep up with it. And okay. if I lose there and lose in the week, I don't I, – that's just – I don't know if I can handle all that. You know, yeah. I want to be able to, I've got to be able to win. Okay. I, I'm going to do something. I want you to imagine that you are the GM of a team. You yes. are playing fantasy. Okay. Um, uh, tight ends. Who are three tight ends that you would uh, you would draft active in the NFL right now? Wow. Three tight ends. Uh, obviously, Kelsey. Okay. Uh, Gronkowski. And, man, what's another great tight end? Rudolph. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, um. Greg Olson. Greg Olson. There we go. He's here somewhere. He is somewhere. here. I just saw him. Oh, man. He'll and, be happy he, to hear he, that one. But he's one. really good. I, <laughs> I mean, we played him this year, and he was he was kicking our butt a little bit, but then he got hurt. So awesome. it, it helped <laughs> It helped us out. <laughs> and last thing, Lorenzo, uh, score prediction. What is your, what's your outcome for the Super Bowl 52? Uh, I'm going 24-17 uh, okay. Patriots. 24-17 yeah, Patriots. Yeah, I'm the NFC East guy. Everyone right. today has been Pats. Yeah, it's I mean. It's been different, but. Yeah, I mean, it's just they've been here. They have the routine <laughs> yeah. down. Um, I mean, you have to almost play a perfect game to beat them. Obviously, Tom Brady and Belichick together is probably one of the best tandems ever. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, obviously, this Eagles team is going to show up and, and, and fight. But I think at the end of the day, with all the in-game adjustments and just a big-time moment, I think the, the Patriots obviously have the resolve and the experience of uh, overcoming everything. All right, 24-17 Patriots. Lorenzo, we will have to see. Enjoy the rest of your week, I your will. Super Bowl week. You're a busy guy. Where can people <laughs> yeah. find you? Well, I'm on Twitter uh, mm -hmm. at one man gang 97 one man gang 97 Yeah, that's where I'm at, so follow <laughs> me there. I um, okay. also have my, my uh, foundation, LorenzoAlexander.org. Uh, right. The Aces Foundation do a lot of work in all the cities I've played in. Um, my hometown of Oakland, California is where we're based out of, and we do a lot of work with the uh, inner city youth. All right, well, let's just put it this way. You're hard to miss. You're everywhere. Yeah, I'm everywhere. He's <laughs> everywhere. Lorenzo, thanks again for joining us. I appreciate it. on DK Live. <laughs>